All right, what's up, everybody? This is a brand new little podcast from the Nano team called This Week in Nano. We're going to touch on all the hot topics from this past week. And to this week, we've got Troy, Zach, and Austin. It will change from week to week. But for who we've got this week, can you tell us who you are? What's your role on the Nano team? I'm Troy. Uh, I do PR and communications for Nano. I'm Zach. I do wallets and mobile and things like that. And I am Austin, and I do community support, all the grunt work, whatever needs to be done. I do it. Awesome. <laughs> so this past week was, uh, I don't know, I, I feel like a couple weeks ago you got those wallets out, things were really in high gear, and then something went wrong, and it was like, oh, crap, and things kept going in high gear. Um <laughs> How have you felt coming off of that rush? Um, I'm glad things have calmed down. Um, we've started getting some pull requests, and people are improving the wallets, translating into Brazilian Portuguese, and uh, generally fixing some small stuff. So it's cool to see the community get involved and people other than us finally working on these. Hmm. Um, Troy, what has uh, kind of been your role since that Nano wallet got released? Well, I've just been trying to get as much information out to people as, as I'm able to. Um, been working on some just projects behind the scenes, but for the most part, I'm just trying to keep the community as informed as possible on, on everything that's going on, uh, whether it's with the bugs or uh, in the wallets or just generally you know, what's going on with these exchanges and you know, Binance is currently down. Uh, we're just waiting for them to get back up. Uh, hopefully that won't be too much longer working to get some more exchanges online so everything's not centered on Binance. Um, but pretty much, uh, it's, been, it's, been, it's been quieter this week than it had been, which is, which is nice, but ready to get things moving again. A week of respite, if you will. Uh, Austin, you've been working a lot with the Nano Center, is that right? Yeah, yeah. So those guys uh, and gals have been fantastic in championing everything in the community that can be done. Uh, really amazing output in a very short window of time. Really impressed with what they've been able to put together. So everything, the Nano KPI project, they've done Mellow ads. Uh, I think they're getting ready to spin up uh, Facebook ads now that Facebook's kind of unlocked the uh, cryptocurrency ad space. Pretty exciting to see what they're putting together. Yeah, the Nano yeah. KPI stuff is this weekend or next week sometime? It's this week, so I think uh, the team plans on the 12th. They'll have media day the 12th and 13th, and they compete on the 14th. So more info to come. We'll have uh, information on the subreddit, hopefully in the Discord. We'll have live uh, stream and links so that people can uh, cheer them on. Should be exciting. And for people who don't realize, that's eSports. And for, yeah, for people who don't know, that's a CSGO team. Uh, they're, they're seated number one going into the tournament, so it should be pretty exciting. Wow. Wow. Huge audience. Yeah. yeah. Um, okay, so kind of getting into some more technical stuff. Uh, maybe Zach can answer this question. How's the uh, development on the protocol level of Nano going? So it's it's a little bit of outside of what I work on most days. Um, some more, uh, you know, level up on, on mobile stuff. Um, but you know, things are going well. We're continuing to improve the protocol, make it more secure. Um, working on getting old blocks fully out of uh, out of the protocol so that we're solely in universal blocks. Hmm. Uh, so I think that's really our next big our next big push. Right. It's it's getting rid of old blocks and then really reducing bandwidth and um, IO output. Mm -hmm. So making the chain as efficient as possible. Yeah, we want to keep improving bootstrapping. Uh, we want to keep improving the amount of network usage that a node uses, um, just making same kind of stuff that we've been doing here the last couple of weeks is just making everything back, getting it efficient, getting it lightweight, um, which is what Nano is built on. Mm -hmm. And we're also looking for more protocol developers. So if you want to help build Nano, hop on in the uh, in the GitHub and start reading the code, start creating some pull requests, and uh, you know, hope to work with you. Yeah, I saw that in there. You said we're watching, so uh, put in those pull requests. Everybody yeah. on this team has joined the team because they just. They just started working on it. Mm -hmm. You know, yeah. we don't we don't put out job flyers and work with you know headhunters or anything like that. We find people that are interested in nano that are have skills in it, and we and that's that's where we pull people in from our team. 
Yeah, yeah and like the great thing about open source is that you can contribute without anyone's permission. So like if you see something that needs to be done or like you want to contribute, like the Nano Center is a great example of that, it's just a totally community led initiative. You know, they didn't come to us and they're like, hey, we have this idea, we want to do this. They just did it. Mm -hmm. um, so whether you're an iOS developer that wants to help out on the wallet or um, you want to help out on the protocol, or you want to improve the website or, or whatever it is, you know, just take some initiative. And, and you know, we see that mm -hmm. we read all the Reddit comments, um, you know, we see what's going on in the community. So, you know, just hop in there. Sweet. All right. So since you are more focused on the mobile and uh, now that the app's released and the fires are put out, what are some kind of next steps or what is what's being worked on now? Yeah, so I've been working on um, fingerprint or touch ID to log into the wallet so that it locks similar to, you know, your Wells Fargo app or your Chase app or whatever. Um, so that if your friend opens up your wallet and sees that you're a nano billionaire, um, you know, you don't, you don't want that, um, you know. So, uh, you know, whether you got 10 nano or 100,000 nano, you should be able to uh, keep that private and, and only log in if, if you have permissions on your phone. Um, so that's, that's it. And then, um, you know, thinking about multiple accounts, thinking about, um, push notifications for when you receive something. Uh, and if anyone's interested in building this and just wants to beat me to it, you know, start working on it, um, create a pull request and, uh, I'll hop in there and we can talk about it. Um, you know, I think the, sorry, the thing for me is, is the UX needs to be good. Um, you know, I'd rather have, have something that I don't want. Crypto is hard enough, and my goal the entire time with these wallets has been to make something that is easy and fluid and intuitive and not um, cryptic and confusing. Sweet. Um, all right, moving away from the development, any news on the marketing front? Win marketing, Troy. Yeah, win marketing. No, it's been unbelievable what the guys, the community has done as far as just taking the marketing into their hands. Um, really, really, really takes a whole lot of load off of our backs. Um, we look forward to supporting uh, the Nano Center and and working with, with them and anybody in the community that's looking to do that kind of marketing. I mean, we're obviously uh, pushing. We, we want more people to learn about Nano. We want learn more people to experience Nano. Uh, we want to start increasing the adoption of Nano. Um, so from our end, we're just going to be putting out, you know, kind of educational, whether it's documents or or videos or um, anything like that, where that then can be spread throughout the community. Um, that's kind of like where our focus is right now, and it makes it great because then the community has just been has basically taken the reins on all of the external marketing projects. I mean, it's really been really been an exciting couple of weeks to see. Sweet. Um, does anybody have anything else they want to add to that? Yeah, I mean, when you look at how Nano has positioned itself as a currency, it makes it difficult to, and we've actually discussed this on the Reddit before, it makes it difficult to market directly to consumers because we're not selling anything, uh, we're not labeled uh, in the initial readouts anyway uh, as a security. So that's extremely powerful for Nano. Uh, and the Nano Center really gives us great scale to go out and reach out to, directly to consumers and allows us on the core team to continue businesses and partnerships to make sure that we give a lot of people a really great place to use Nano and then let the Nano Center take the direct education to consumers. So it's right. a really great partnership. And we're really excited about it. Sweet. Yeah, and, and I think it's, it's you know, it's, we don't really have partners per se. It's more just, it's just vendors, right? It's people who accept Nano for goods and services around the internet um, and hopefully off the internet too. So, um, you know, tell your friends if they've got e-commerce sites or a lemonade stand or whatever, you know, tell them, to, tell them to accept Nano, spin up a spin up a wallet, you know, hit the receive button, show off the QR code and, and accept some Nano. Right. Yeah. Somebody's got to know Jeff Bezos, right? Somebody's listening to this. Somebody. I think, I think Troy does. I think they're connected yeah, on LinkedIn. Yeah, definitely. Definitely. <laughs> Let's make it happen. Yeah. Um, Troy, call up Jeff. I will. After this. Yeah. On the, uh, for a little secret, we actually recorded this podcast a couple of weeks ago and then decided not to release it because of all the wallet issues because we sounded really happy on it and we didn't want you to see that. Um, but Troy um, kind of went on a little bit of a rant about um, this idea of partners versus, um, versus just adoption. Um, Troy, do yeah. you want to 
Well, I don't think it was as much of a rant. It's just, it was, you know, you see a lot of the partnerships in cryptocurrencies. Um, and a lot of them are smoke and, and mirrors and really aren't very meaningful. Um, you know, when, when, a, when a, we have a retailer that accepts nano, you know, it's not a partnership for us because we are a currency. You don't partner with, with Bitcoin. You don't partner with the dollar. Um, what we're looking for in partners is people that are using nano in unique ways, right? Like, so, so a way that they want to explore adding value to what they're doing in a way different than just accepting nano. And then we partner with them and work with them towards that goal. Kind of, so that's what we're looking for in partners. We're talking to a number of people. Hopefully we have some announcements soon. Um, I'll get a little Justin Sunish there, I guess. Uh, but yeah, so that's what we're working on um, as far as our business development end right now. Um, so yeah, hopefully we get some we get some good news here coming off soon. Cool. So uh, kind of uh, one of the last quick fire questions. Are there any uh, notable international developments in the nano community? <laughs> well, I think we all have seen our subreddit here the last couple of days. Uh, really cool to see um, people reaching out to support these what's happening down in Venezuela. We have a tremendous uh, community down in Venezuela. Um, a lot of you guys know Lewis. Uh, you had him on the Nanocast last week, I think. Um, just tremendous presence down in Venezuela. We had a user, I think he initially got one half of Nano, uh, a Nano, and it ended up he got like eight, 84 donated to him. He was able to buy 200 pounds of food. And the best part is that he was able to buy it in Nano. He wasn't he didn't, we didn't, they didn't send him nano and he converted it to Bitcoin and sold it to the, um, you know, his currency. It was just straight up purchase for nano, which is great. I mean, that's the goal. You know, that's something somewhere we can really make a difference. And uh, one of the areas we're really focused on. And Venezuela has been big on nano back when it was Rayblox. Like, right. You know, even before I joined, I remember seeing significant. Um, significant traction in Venezuela, so they've been they've been supporters for a long time. Tell me, yeah, yeah so it's just very cool to um, see stuff like that. Sweet, I didn't I didn't cry, so <laughs> I didn't cry. Reading it. Um, and then a couple of weeks ago, there was some stuff down in Brazil. Is that right? Oh right, yeah, yeah. So yeah, so our Brazilian community manager went and he he presented at a at a I don't have the exact name of the conference off off the top of my head here. But he did. He went and presented Nano at um, a Brazilian conference and really got us. Just I think he threw me like twelve contacts of people that were coming up and just being like, "We want to work with you. Mm -hmm. We know you. We love you down here." Um, so very, very thanks. You know, thanks. Thank you so much to Bruno. Um, thank you so much to everybody down there in our Brazilian community. Um, yeah, there were, to, there were there were two there's two outstanding pull requests right now that I need to review this weekend for iOS and Android. Um, the same guy translated both into Brazilian Portuguese. All right, last major question. Uh, this is the month of July. Uh, so what would you say is the major push for uh, the Nano team in the month of July? Well, as far as outside of the protocol, um, we really want to get on uh, we really want to get on some more major exchanges so that we're not relying on binance. You know, Binance is great. They've been absolutely wonderful uh, working with us. Um, but when they when their deposits are down, it really kind of limits your options here. So we're really working on getting some more exchanges up. We have some we have we we have some good thing big things in our pipeline that we're really looking forward to sharing. So you know, July it has July fourth, so we're hoping we got some fireworks soon, right, guys? <laughs> no? Um, all right. Well, is there anything we didn't touch on that you guys wanted to to mention before we go? Uh, if you want to get involved, make sure you uh, come check us out in Discord. Jump into the Nano Center Discord if you're a marketing or if you're into the uh, web design. If you are an iOS developer, an Android developer, reach out to Zag, jump on the GitHub, and then obviously protocol development, which is what uh, Troy touched on. We need it all. So if you, you have a little bit of time to spare, jump in and, and help us out. We'd love to have you. Sweet. Sweet. And Troy, can you want to throw kind of uh, what you what your vision is for this podcast? Well, this podcast, you know, we do on Mondays. I'm gonna I'm gonna be doing a developer update each week, and then this is gonna be basically kind of a, just a wrap up show. Um, so I really like to talk just talk about what what progress has been made each week. Um, 
you know, maybe we can get the guys that I highlight each Wednesday to come on and talk a little bit, and we can bring in different developers on the, that are doing the core protocol each week, talk about what they've been working on. Um, yeah, I think it's really just going to be probably me and you and a rotating cast of guests here. Um, it's kind of talking about where, where Nano's headed. Sweet. Looking forward to it. Thanks so much, Zach austin Troy. Uh, glad to be able to help give a window into Nano um, on a regular basis. That's it. Yeah, man. Thanks for doing this. Thanks for Talk to you soon. See y'all later. See y'all, everybody.